Hussey ride. I mean, the old master belt. This car, and, and, and truly, when you talk about today's equipment on the track, you talk about championship material. Mm-hmm. The fact that that car is doing <laughs> what it's doing. Well, look at the driver, too, behind it. Well, and that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Such raw this, the, talent, man. And that's not a bad ride. It's not a bad race car. Not at all. Is it old? Sure. Is it a little outdated? Sure. Is the driver behind the wheel doing his job? Absolutely. I mean, I'm telling you, this kid, Joey Tanner, we've been watching him come together, come together. He gets in the 67 car, and it's kind of like, okay, what's he going to do tonight? He actually ran down Rob Mann. In an open motor. Well, and well, Rob ran him down and passed him, but Joey returned the favor. <laughs> and the thing about it was, and if and go look at the clip on Moxie that Warren put up. You can see it. You watch Rob Maya in true Maya fashion on the way throttle, up on the high side, right rear on the cushion, up by the wall. Just, I mean, just wicked fast around the top. And here comes Tanner in the '67, right through the slick in the middle, just, <laughs> brrr, you know, just cruising, <laughs> cruising, and he, and he got by Maya and he tested him and tested. him. These guys, it was, I mean, you've heard me use the, the analogy before. It was a heavyweight title fight. These guys went at it lap after lap after lap, and you don't know. See, and that's good racing, man. You don't know who's going to win. And, and, and then finally, finally, Tanner, you know, got, got ahead, and, and, and Maya, you know, you get a show with Rob Maya. Right. I don't care what track it is. You're going to get a show. <laughs> but he put on a show. He gave these guys, I mean, just – his cars, I mean, Rob's cars have, have, at the end of the night, it's got to be like, dude, just put me put me away. Just put me away. I'm tired. You know, you want to talk about a driver that gets everything out of the race car, it's Rob May. He's the definition of that. He drove the wheels off that thing, and it still wasn't good enough to catch the, the 67 of Tanner. A testament to the crate motor and the Joey Tanner combo. They just worked together, and Joey was just, he gets out of the car with kind of a, a look of, you know, excitement. Right. But or disbelief. Also, no, relief. Oh. You know, kind of like. <laughs> it was over. Man, I'm glad that one's <laughs> over, you know. And, and first thing he said, you know, you listen to the interview, first thing he said was, man, I, I got I to gotta give it to Rob. Great race. You know, I mean, that's what you want as a race car driver. That's what you want as a fan. It's what you want as an announcer. I mean, it's just like, it was an awesome show. That being said, rolling right up on him and, and closing the gap was Darren Koffel. You know, a three-time yeah. champ. <clears throat> I mean, just uh, the, the feel. Listen to the top five, okay? The top five. You had Tanner for the win. Four-time and defending champion May is second. Three-time champion Darren Koffel, third. Trophy Dash winner Steve Moore, fourth. And fifth was Hot Sauce Tomas Hunsker. Here's a guy that... That is the top five? Hunsker, I'm telling you, this guy is another one of those guys that's just starting to... It's coming together. Starting to challenge. He's yeah. been fast, but another guy that, you know, that... that just couldn't find luck anywhere. You know, he got he flipped early in the season, had to have surgery on his thumb. He comes back, oh he gets God. wrecked, and he's just, I mean, this guy doesn't, he's just brutal. Doesn't right. give up, and he's just, and he's there. Top five cars running good. <clears throat> um, I guess you got to have some bad luck to have good luck, right? <clears throat> uh, well, you know, I <laughs> guess. But when it turns around, it's turned around because that 38 car has been really, really good. Been really good. But, I mean, let's go back to Joey Tanner. One and a half seconds. That's insane. And just watching what he did in the late stages, it seemed, and this is just so crazy, that it seemed like the slicker the track got in the middle the better groove, he went. the better he got. You know, and That it, crate car and stuff of, of Walters is, man, it loves, it literally loves Willamette Speedway when it goes slick. It absolutely does because Rob May had a cushion to work with. <clears throat> he had a cushion to work with. Now it was a longer way around. But, but you have an open motor. Uh, you, you got get the, you get 850 the horse. Yeah, you get and the power just, on the ground. You can go forward. But traffic, mm-hmm. traffic and having to lift. And there was a couple times that I thought Maya had something for him. It just traffic didn't work out. And then Joey, being Joey, I'm man, watching this kid so smooth. You you watch. You watch. Almost mark my words. By the end of the season, if this doesn't happen, I'll be very, very surprised. Is if a bunch of these guys, towards main event time, they start looking at that track going, Oh, we're shutting the secondaries off. Well, you know, uh, well, uh, we've already seen one guy do it this year. Right. We've already seen one guy do it this year. and um, Just saying. Well, and, and that. what do you do? When you got that much power, what do you do? you got to find a way to keep the power on the ground. If it's 85, 90 degrees out and it's slick, right. you know, you, you've adjusted the car all you can adjust. You know, I mean, that or you go buy a crate motor. 
And how many? I mean, do you really think, honest to God, do you really think Rob Mayo will ever be seen with a crate motor in his car? No, he'll he'll shut the secondary. That off guy well would, before he would swallow a cheese grater before he put a, a right. You know, a crate motor in his car. Uh-huh. That's not he'll park his, that car before. Absolutely, that's not his style of racing. <laughs> he like he likes to go out and be able to if it's there, but he'll be able to use okay. it. Okay. That being said, Russell. <clears throat> People said, "What are you doing?" You know, years ago when he showed up with the with the with the Gertie engine with you know the 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 injected sprint car motor with the stacks out there. What that are was, you doing? That was awesome. What are you? Now, and what happened? How many guys did you see in the next couple of months or you know the next years or two following? How many guys did we have with the injected engines? Yeah, and follow suit. We had Maya had one. Coffle had one. Russ had his. Donna Frio had his. I mean, all these guys went injection. And are you, are you kidding me? Well, check this out. The, the laughing stock years ago was Brian Holmite when he came down with the V6. Brian Holmite came down the V6. He, he would literally he would come down for qualifying, and this is what I know. This is this is the thing that always gets me is he would go he'd come past the flag stand, go wah, shut her down, just shut it, just shut it. Wah. That car would go quiet. It would get back and then right and before the right before just the apex, pick it right back up. Wah, wah. Do you do, do you, it again? Do you remember what happened in that car? I don't remember what happened in that car. Brian Holmite sold that car to Bob Jeffrey. Is it? And that first year in that car, uh-huh. Bob Jeffrey, 21 starts. Oh, sorry. 22 starts in that car. Probably 19 victories. Eight, 18 features. I'm telling you right now. With a V6. I, yeah. So, and that right there just goes to show you that, you know, I don't care what kind of equipment you got. I don't care. If you've got the best of the best. It's not always about horsepower. That's right. But there's times where it's about horsepower. That's right. You don't want to give Rob May a, a foot cushion or eight inches off the wall, even if it's tacky up there, because he's got the ability to beat oh, you and he'll every get, yeah, single he'll, and time. And he'll get the forward bite, and he'll just go. And, and he's yeah. in this new black diamond car that I'm telling you right now, I've been at Willamette Speedway nearly all my life. Okay, 40 years I've been out there. Right. I will tell you right now, and I'll say this on the air for everybody here, I have never, ever, ever seen a race car with as much forward bite as that 37 car has right now. Yeah, you're talking about that last week. That being said, Joey Tanner and that crate motor, dude, it, I mean, I'm, that is a match made in heaven. Those guys, That car and that driver are just, it's incredible to watch. Perfect. Joey has just come around as a driver. I mean, he's just been phenomenal. <laughs> guess phenomenal. What, guess where we're at. Yeah, I know. Three but, hours, two I know, <laughs> but it's just what it is. You know, I'm sorry, guys. We're I'm, talking racing. We're going to keep this to two hours next week. Josh. God, I hope so. We yeah. have to. We have to. We got to pick up. We got to find eh. some. We got. I got. I got a two-hour drive home. So, but let's talk about. Okay, so here's the finishing order. Okay, we had Joey Tanner with the win. <laughs> Rob Maya, Darren Coffel, Steve Moore, Hunsker, top five. Kai Frick, Dan Dybul, Trent Elliott, Mike Johnson was ninth. Rob Campos, Jimmy Schram, Sieg, Jason Wines, kind of had a tough night there in the Superman car. Tom Lawson, Bob Boyd, Randy Boyd. Randy Boyd came in fifth in points. You know, there's good nights and bad nights of racing. All have day long, one. yeah. You know, he went out. Uh, he went out on lap 18. You know, that's just what it is. But what do you do? You know, it's just one of those deals where something goes wrong, goes wrong. But it that's went, racing. It went all right for that 67 of Joey Tanner. And you know, I told you, I said, man, I wouldn't change a thing on this car. He talked about putting his big motor in. I said, why would you do that? I wouldn't change anything I, on this car. Leave it the way it is. Right. It's working. When something's not broke, you don't fix it. That's right. You know, and I think Joey kind of, he kind of looked at me, kind of, <laughs> you know, he thought about it. So <laughs> I mean, you know how Joey's another one of those guys that he likes that big power. And he can drive it. You know, he, he's got the talent to drive us big engines. Yeah. But, um, well, I want to have, I mean, what a, what a night, dude. Real quick, okay. real quick before we close the show. I promise I'd talk about this. I'm going to do it. We've got fan appreciation night coming up while I'm at Speedway. Oh, I got one thing, too. Okay, okay yeah. Sorry. So we've got fan appreciation sorry. night. <laughs> we've got five minutes left on the broadcast. Fan okay. appreciation night this, this Saturday night while I'm at Speedway. We've got a driver, Steve Moore, doing some special stuff. He's got all kinds of gifts. Him and his wife, Andrew, went out and personally purchased this stuff. That okay? is cool. We're going to bring all the fans down the track. We're going to open up the gate. They're going to come down, pictures, autographs, meet your favorite drivers. Steve says, I want all the kids down there. I want them to sit in my car. I want them taking pictures. I've got – he's got his own bucket of, of – of, of, uh, of uh, raffle tickets. Okay? Really? Here's the thing about it, though. No cost. You come down, only kids, okay, only kids come down, put your hand in the bucket, pull out a ticket. He's got certain tickets that have prizes on them, okay? And I'm talking about a lot of prizes. Right. Grand prize, you're going to get a 124 scale high octane die cast. No way. Yep. 
Yep. Of his car. Yeah, sixty five dollar gift. He's just God, that away is the cool, gift. man. So, you know, well, I, but that's gonna be cool. He's giving away. I think he's got some shirts. He's got some some really cool like summer drink cups. Yeah. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. Steve's giving away all kinds of stuff. So you guys get down there. Um, bring the kids down, have a good time, fan appreciation night. We're going to bring you onto the racetrack. We're going to put almost 100 race cars out there and just that have a good awesome. time. You know, it's going to be good stuff. Well, and real, real short, too, is that uh, we're getting set up for uh, for Bakersfield. So, yeah, man. So I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about this deal. Bakersfield deal is, is definitely a go, but this is what I'm uh, – because of budgets and everything else, we want to ask and stuff some of our fans – if they want to, we would really, really, really appreciate it because we're, you know, we're trying to buy a lot of equipment. And we're trying to, you well, know, all that type of you stuff. Look at the money we've spent on equipment lately. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. Uh, that's to make the show better for the fans. We like, are you know. we're looking for donations, you know, to help Moxie get down to Bakersfield this year. We're gonna bring in the Budweiser Nationals live. Yeah, you know, fourth year in a row. Yeah, all day long. Yeah, I mean, be cool. we've, we've already got, you know, we've already got. Uh, uh, the okay and stuff for down there. I mean, once again, I mean, they, they called us and they're like, hey, yeah. you guys still coming down, right? We're like, yeah. So, I mean, if you guys. You well, know, and this is what's cool. It's going to be the first time that Moxie's had all three announcements all working three. together. God, yeah. it's going to be so cool. It's going to be fun. So, it's going to be a good deal, you guys. Uh, you know, if but, but if you, if you like, if you like to, you know, help donate, you know, get a hold of us, get a hold of myself or Corey, you know, or on Moxie Media 2016 at Gmail, Facebook, um, Facebook you know, private message us. I mean, but what a hell of a night, man. Can't yeah. thank, cannot thank, cannot thank enough. Yeah, the Jeremy. man that's right behind us, new crew chief in the house, right? Is Jeremy Scott? Man, yeah. he's dude. You're you're awesome. Uh, yeah, comment. Yeah, you know, thank him for this quality of the sound. You know, we got it figured <laughs> out, and it's going to be better and better. Oh, yeah. He's already talking about bringing new features in week in and week out. But uh, you know, right now, talking about week out, we're out of here, man. Fired up. Let's that's roll. That's it, man. We'll talk to you guys after a bit. See ya.